Wired networks are reliable, fast, and secure. But which cable should you choose for your particular home network? Let's find out which cable is right for your home network situation. To make this easy, I'm going to break this down into three different categories of home networks. From a basic home network with a modem and a router with three to four users with internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second to an intermediate home network with a modem, router, and switch with four to eight users with internet speeds up to one gigabit per second. And this type of network will have gaming as well as video streaming. And finally, an advanced home network or enterprise network. This network is comprised of a modem, router, and a managed switch. It may also contain several access points, as well as PoE cameras and home automation. And this kind of network will typically have VLANs, a VPN, dozens of wired connections, and has 6 to 10 users, most likely gaming, video streaming, data transfer of massive files, and will definitely contain a home office, where a secure network is very important. So first, let's talk about the basic home network. This is by far the most common network. If you have a basic home network with a modem and a router, or a modem router combo, and your ISP speeds are around 150 megabits per second, and no more than 300 megabits per second, then I recommend Cat5e. Like I said before, Cat5e is 1000 megabits per second. And if you're only getting 150 megabits per second, or even 300 megabits per second, then Cat5e is plenty. A Cat6 cable will not improve your network. However, if you plan to upgrade to an intermediate network within six months or a year, you may want to get Cat6 cables to allow for future proofing but it's still not necessary because even with a 1 gig ISP connection, a Cat5e can handle it. So the bottom line with a basic home network, I would stick with Cat5e. It's plenty of speed and it'll save you some money. Okay now, let's talk about the next level in home networking, the intermediate home network. This network has a modem, a router, and a switch. And sometimes the switch is managed especially if you have PoE connections, like for cameras or a video doorbell. And this type of network will most likely have one gig speeds from the ISP. This type of network could have a media server, like a NAS, and probably streams a lot of movies and online gaming. And most likely has four to eight users. In this type of network, I recommend Cat6 cabling. Any of the three will work well. Cat6, Cat6A or Cat6E. And just a heads up, Cat5E will still work with this network. However, you're pushing it. With Cat5E, you can get no more than one gig speeds, especially at long distances. With Cat6, you have plenty of room for expansion. So when the day comes and you want to take it to the next level, there'll be no worries about your wiring. You'll be all good. Okay, now we're going to talk about advanced home networks, which is my favorite and is probably the least common of the networks. And that's because these networks can be very complicated with dozens of ethernet wires, multiple wireless access points, multiple switches, some managed and some plug and play. These networks will have VLANs with firewalls and a VPN. And typical internet speeds will be one gig or greater. And these types of networks will often have server racks where all your devices will connect. So what cable would you use for an advanced home network? Leave your answer in the comments below because I'm sure everybody's got their opinion. And since you're watching my video, you most likely want to know my opinion. And my answer, inside the walls, should be Cat7. Now wait a minute, don't start hating yet. Inside the walls only would I run Cat7. Outside the walls, I would run Cat6. And there's a few reasons why I want to do this. First, it's future-proofing your network. Trying to rewire a house can be a huge pain. And like I said before, Cat7 wires have a 15-year guarantee. So spend the extra money and get Cat7 
and inside the house you can use Cat 6. And when the day comes to swap it out for a Cat 7, it'll be easy. Only one connection when I have a Cat 7 inside the house, and that's from your modem to your router. And that's because this is the backbone of your home network. And if that Cat 7 cable is short, like 15 meters, you can theoretically run 100 gigabits per second on it. Which will never happen. But it's pretty cool. So this video should have answered the question, which cable type do you need for your network? And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, I do a personal shout out in the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.